SK St. Petersburg visits Moscow to play Spartak, who sits last place in the Western Conference. No scoring through almost 30 minutes of the game until Anatoly Nikonsev goes on a solo dash, slams on the brakes, and beats Ilya Izhov. 1-0 Spartak. SK had a lot of scoring chances early in the game, but couldn't capitalize on them. Well, that's what you get. Shortly after that, Spartak gets on the board again. Alex Koklachev doesn't give up on the puck, Ovi style, and scores. 2-0 Spartak. Goko scores just his second of the season. It sounds like not much, but in all fairness, Spartak hasn't exactly been great this year. Well, they sure took everyone by surprise today. Less than a minute later, Alex Suglobov has a chance to shoot, does so. Rebound to Oleg Gubin, swats it in. 3-0 Spartak. Gubin scores his sixth of the year, and Yezhov's night is done. Cue Sergei Bobrovsky. SK gets one back a few minutes later on the power play. Patrick Torsen has the puck, aim shoot, scores. 3-1. That's his 11th of the season. Props to Tony Mortensen for the screen. Early in the third now, Gubin has the puck. He's looking for options, goes for a sneaky pass to Suglobov, who appreciates it 4-1. That's his fifth of the year. Both Suglobov and Gubin get their second point of the night. Less than 10 minutes left in the third now. Spartak has a two-man advantage. Edward Lewandowski tries to beat Bobrovsky. Rebound, Mikhail Yunkov is right there to put it in 5-1. That's his third of the year. I told you Coco's numbers shouldn't really concern you. Speaking of Coco, here he is again. Sets up Gubin for a shot, blast, rebound, and Nikonsev scores his second. You're right, that's his sixth of the season. Season. Gubin caps off a three-point night. Spartak takes down mighty SKA in a blowout. St. Petersburg is 0-2 after firing their head coach. And here's the new guy, by the way, Yuko Yalanen. Gotta wonder what his take on this is. 6-1 Spartak final.